This is Hasselblad's latest photography camera X2D 100C, which is currently going for $8600. You can get the XCD F-Stop 2.5 55V lens for $4100. And this is the new Sony A7R5 hybrid camera which will cost you around $3400, whereas you can get the Sony FE 2470mm F-Stop 2.8 lens for $2300. Why do lenses cost almost the same or more than many flagship cameras you may start to wonder? So let's find that out. Well, a lens is more than just a glass piece and a lot more process goes into making it. To understand how the lens works, we first need to know what the lens is. We have a full explanation video in our channel about how lenses work, so you can check that out after this video. In short, a lens is a piece of transparent glass that concentrates or disperses light rays when passing through them by refraction. The lens allows you to control the amount of light that enters the camera. Images formed by a lens are determined by its shape. Basically, the lens is a light controlling device and it does this by bending and filtering. The modern obsession or expectation is optically perfect fast lenses that perform faultlessly on ultra high resolution sensors. This means very complex highly corrected optical designs with a lot of exotic glass. The engineering that goes behind lenses is very time consuming and requires great precision. It also needs a skilled team of technicians. High-end lenses are made by hand to exact tolerances, then they have to be aligned. Not to mention the R&D that goes into AF motors, body design, weather sealing, coating, etc. A lens with an f-stop 1.2 maximum aperture is one and a half times larger in diameter than a lens with an f-stop 1.8 maximum aperture. 1.5 times the diameter means 2.25 times the area and 3.375 times the volume of glass. And that means that you can expect to pay about 3.5 times as much if the designs are otherwise identical. Electronically, a lens has some decent processing power inside for things like IS and they have to communicate with the camera via a data bus. So making a lens, especially the one that produces pin sharp images, is anything but cheap. Good lenses are complicated and expensive to make. Realistically, a lens manufacturer is not going to be selling many of the $10,000 plus long lenses. Even a much more common lens such as 70 to 200 mm f-stop 2.8 is not selling huge numbers when compared to most mass electronic markets. The market for interchangeable lens cameras is no longer massive. It's a niche product which means more profit on each unit they sell to recoup their costs. You have to remember. Photography is a luxury for hobbyists. Professional photographers can invest in expensive lenses as they know they can make money back fairly soon. Prices get higher when you look for telephoto, macro, fisheye or scene specific lenses. Most common primal and zoom lenses you can find are at quite affordable prices. Telephoto lenses tend to cost more than the usual ones. You should highly consider focal range when it comes to choosing the right lens for your type of photography. If you're on a limited budget, you can go for some older lenses that are good for most modern cameras. The Nikon 1855mm DX, 5200mm DX, Zuiko 50mm f-stop 1.8, Sigma 200-500mm f2.8 are some of the cheap lenses as far as camera equipment goes. Granted, older lenses cost less than $100 will not be that good and won't be able to produce the exact shot you want. Sometimes. Manufacturers make a lens using new technology that ends up being expensive and rubbish. This was the case with Canon's dual lenses. They used some diffractive optics which were slightly shorter than a normal lens, but they were super expensive and soft. This kind of fumble happens quite a few times in the camera industry. You can get good deals for old lenses from eBay or Amazon if you're really on a tight budget. but. We'd suggest you save money for a while and invest in a nice piece of lens that will last you for years to come. So that was all about lenses and why they're expensive. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below.